today I'm going to be driving by myself. It's, I mean, I'm used to driving, it's just that it's my first time driving on my own, I think. The only thing I'm wishing is that I don't lose my sense of direction because that's something that I'm kind of bad with, which is why I usually prefer to drive with someone else in the car with me, but I only have this guy. So yeah. At the very least, the advantage I get with driving on my own is that I take in charge of what I get to play in the car. I don't have an off card though. I've only been out of my house for like a minute or two and I already feel like I'm lost. So let's hope for the best. In case anyone asked, I drive stick by the way. So that makes me automatically better than you, I think. I'm already <laughs> caught up in traffic, so that's lovely. Also, it's no big surprise because I do live in the Philippines after all. While we're here, I kind of wanted to point out something that I've noticed with myself. So whenever I'm a bit nervous, I kind of realize that I suck at speaking in English in a way that my Filipino accent kind of slips, if that makes any sense. I don't know if anyone else who isn't bilingual or polyglot would like relate to. I don't think you guys would relate to this actually. But yeah, it's something I struggle with and I don't know. Cute little fun fact about me is that English is actually my first language. So whenever this tends to happen to me, whenever I get nervous and my accent slips off, it's like I I kind of can't justify that, you know, even though I speak English primarily. But let me just rant for a bit. That sucks, you know, because I, I get that it's not my native language and, you know, that's that's a difference. Yeah, like, a native language doesn't equal to your first language. So even if English is my first language, I don't want any of you guys having doubts with that. Beca just because of my accent. It's it's weird. It's weird to be hyperfixed with somebody's accent. I did not grow up in the US, but yes, English is my first language. And on top of that, I, I'm still struggling with learning how to speak, well, my native language, Filipino. I can speak it fluently, it's just that I'm not very comfortable with it, but I have to get used to it because it's the language that I'm supposed to speak at work. And on top, on top of that, I'm also learning Mandarin because I'm Filipino Chinese. So yeah, I'm juggling between different languages here, so please do not bully me for speaking in English with a silly accent or rather an accent that you guys find silly. Plus like Filipino is hard and especially any Chinese language. That's what I thought. I'm at McDonald's right now to pick my brother up. Hooray! I was supposed to go inside there to like recreate a photo that I took a few years ago but I don't think I want to do that right now. I'm too shy to get out of the car.
What is this back room esque place? <laughs> this is so empty. Like, do people even watch movies here? I think so, yeah. Like, I for remember food. we watched a movie here once. I think it was Spider Man into the Spider Verse. We did, or are you and your friends? No, us. You, me, mom. I don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Or do you remember watching Spider Man? I, I remember the movie. Like I remember watching the movie itself. But like in here? It was in the cinema. Yeah. I, I know we watched it in cinema, just I didn't know it was here. It's just kinda sad that it's been years and this place is still dead. Yeah. In a bit 
We're gonna try this thing. It's so obvious whenever I'm the last driver. I hope you can guess why.